uh, with the talk about limit limit behavior of uh, perturbed uh, random walks. Please. Thank you, Grigory. Georgi, uh, so let us start. Uh, today I will consider functional limit theorems for perturbed random walk. And to warm up, let us consider very simple case when we have just usual random walk uh, with zero mean and variance one. And it's well known that if you scale time and space properly, then this scale random walk converges in distribution to the linear process. And now uh, let's consider very simple perturbation and uh, consider just simple random walk everywhere outside of zero. So the jumps are one or negative one and transitions probability everywhere except of zero are one half. But when you hit zero, probability of going up is P and probability is going down is, is Q. So we have some skew at zero. And then when you enter upper half space or lower uh, half space behavior of your work is again one half and one half. And again, you hit here, go up or down with probabilities P and Q and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, the question is, okay, let's consider don't scare scaling and try to find a limit of this perturbed random walk. It is not difficult to, to find transition probabilities uh, of uh, this perturbed random walk and they are equal to transition probability of the usual simple random walk plus gamma where gamma is p minus q times sine of j and again uh, this is uh, transition probability of usual sim simple random walk. Uh, it's well known that if you uh, con uh, if you scale pro properly uh, space and time, <clears throat> then these transition probabilities. Uh, converge to Gaussian density by the Moivre Laplace theorem. And as a cor cor corollary, you see that uh, uh, properly scaled transition probabilities converge to the following function. Here phi is here phi is Gaussian density with zero mean and variance t and gamma is p minus q. Uh, it can be easily verified that this is a density of uh, probability distribution. If gamma is less than or equal to one, and this density uh, or this family of densities satisfies chapman kolmogorov equation. And the corresponding Markov process is called uh, SQ Brownian motion with a parameter gamma. Now gamma is P minus Q. And uh, it can be shown that a properly scaled perturbed random walk converges in distribution to SQ Brownian motion is parameter uh, permeability gamma equals p e minus q and the general problem oh, uh, that i want to discuss is the following consider uh, the general integer 
uh, integer valued random walk with perturbation in a finite set. And then I will consider uh, Donsker's scaling. And I will prove that under some natural assumptions, the limit is SQ Brownian motion. And now let us discuss some properties of a skew Brownian motion. At first, a uh, skew Brownian motion can be uh, constructed via eta excursion theory. Assume that you have reflected Brownian motion. I recall that excursion of excursion is a part of path between two zero. So this is excursion and this is excursion. Well, when you hit zero, there are infinite number of excursion in a neighborhood of this point, but I cannot make uh, such picture. And then you toss a coin uh, and flip some excursions. So leave the uh, as they are with probability p, and uh, flip it with probability q, and do it with every excursion. Uh, and you see a picture, and it can be seen that the process that you get is a skew Brownian motion with parameter. Gamma is P minus Q. By the way, when we consider simple random walk and we perturb it, we may say, okay, let's consider just reflected random walk and then flip some, some excursions. Uh, it can be uh, shown that a skew Brownian motion has a continuous modification, that absolute value of uh, skew Brownian motion is just reflected Brownian motion. Actually, uh, these two properties follows e easily from it and McKean construction of a skew Brownian motion. Well, if gamma is zero, then uh, the, uh, the skew Brownian motion is just usual linear process. And if gamma is one, then you, you get reflected Brownian motion. And uh, the next question is the following. Well, maybe mm, you have some equation, some stochastic equation for, for skew Brownian motion. And yes, it is possible. It can be proved that uh, skew Brownian motion is a solution to the following stochastic differential equation with a local time of this process X. Uh, okay, this local time is symmetric local time. And uh, it was proved by Harrison and Shep that there exists a unique strong solution to this equation if gamma is, if absolute value of gamma is less than or equal to one. And there, there is no solution to equation one if gamma, if absolute value of gamma is greater than, than one. Neither strong solution nor uh, weak solution. Uh, okay, uh, sometimes uh, the local time uh, is ident identified, well, formally, with integral of delta function of unknown of, of this process x of s. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is this? This is integral of a function f epsilon of x s ds, where the function f epsilon has the following 
form. So this is epsilon, this is minus epsilon. The height is one over two epsilon. And uh, this function f epsilon converges in a generalized sense to a delta function of, to a Dirac delta function concentrated at, at zero. Uh, so it's naturally to expect that solution to this equation uh, can be obtained as a limit of stochastic differential equations uh, uh, is d w of t plus some sequence a epsilon of x epsilon of t d t where a epsilon converge in some sense to gamma times delta function concentrated at zero. Uh, but uh, this is not true. This is in incorrect. So uh, consider function a of a sub epsilon, epsilon in the following form. Then in generalized sense, this sequence converges to alpha times delta function. And uh, it was proved uh, by Portenko. Then the sequence x epsilon converges in distribution to a skew Brownian motion, but not with the parameter alpha, but with another parameter gamma, uh, which is hyperbolic tangents of, of alpha. And we see that um, when you prove some limit theorems where the limit is a skew Brownian motion, you have to be very careful. And sometimes uh, the intuition does not work. Uh, and uh, the, actually, this happens because uh, local time is not continuous function, functional of a process of, of, of a skew Brownian motion. And you cannot uh, use some invariance principles. Uh, let me formulate the general problem. Let us consider uh, a Markov chain on, on that integer, uh, so integer value uh, Markov chain. And assume that if you are, if this Markov chain is in this set, so does not belong to the set minus M M, I will call this set M embrane. Then increments are just uh, independent, identical, uh, distributed random variables uh, with uh, finite, uh, with positive, with, with finite and positive variance. Uh, when you are here inside, then the jump uh, is some random variable eta that depends on the position i. So jumps from this point may have another distribution than jump from this point. Uh, I will assume, I will always assume that if you enter the set, the membrane, then you exit with probability one. And I will always assume today that all uh, states of uh, this mark of uh, states are connected. So with positive probability, you come uh, reach every state 
every integer, every integer point. Uh, formally, uh, I can uh, say that this uh, Markov chain behaves as the following uh, sequence. You add psi k if you are above, and psi k are independent identical distribution random variables. If you are outside of membrane, and if x k, x k is equal to i, if you are in membrane, then your increments are eta i a, where eta i k has the same distribution as this random variable. Today, I will prove that if expectation of AI are, mm, have the finite uh, first moment, then the limit is a skew Brownian motion. And I will find uh, this parameter of permeability. By the way, I will prove even more general uh, theorem, and I will consider perturbed random walks on a graph. May I ask a question? Yes. So the uh, how fat the membrane is, so this parameter M does uh, not play any role? M Doesn't... is finite. Yes, 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 but in the in the result, you just obtain skew skew brain yes. loss. Yes, because of... because when you make yes. a scaling, uh, yes, then yes. M membrane, divided, yeah, membrane, yeah, it shrinks to a point. Ah, okay. Then membrane shrinks to, to a point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, and a uh, few words about uh, some history. Oh, uh, there are. Hello, uh, so, uh, sorry that I'm late, but uh, it was a problem with the internet. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Okay, so a few words about uh, history. Uh, I would like to mention, I, I have already mentioned the work um, by Harrison and Shep. And uh, actually, there are a lot of methods how to prove or how or ways how to prove the functional limit theorems. For example, um, uh, via semi-groups uh, or martingale problem or classical probability methods like um, weak relative compactness plus convergence of finite dimensional distributions or resolvent technique uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, Minlos and Gijina, uh, they used semi-groups, mm, but you have to be careful because semi-groups and generators, but because you start with uh, Vox and uh, this is a question, what is generator, what or what is the analog of generator and how to pass to a limit if you have uh, a limit of, of generators. Uh, they uh, considered um, the case when you have unit jump outside of membrane. Okay, and the same technique was uh, used by Yarotsky. Uh, my former PhD student, Yuri Prihodka and me, uh, considered some probabil probabilistic met methods. So we uh, cut some intervals and piece some excursions together and obtained a result uh, uh, for perturbed random walks. Uh, Ngo and Pinye, they used uh, relative compactness plus convergence of finite dimensional distributions. And if you try to, to, to do, to, to use this method, you have to be very careful because it is impossible to find nice formula. You have 
to make a lot of estimates. Actually, they uh, consider the following mo model. You have random walk here. When you cross zero, then immediately you go to zero and exit from zero by a random variable. Again, if you are here, you have a random walk. When you cross zero, then you jump to zero and then exit by one by a one uh, jump. Okay, if this jump is at a one, then second is at a two. They are independent, identical, distributed uh, random variables with finite moment. Uh, they did not consider uh, the case when you have a membrane with a lot of points. Uh, there are a lot of uh, problems uh, if exit from zero or if exit from membrane um, have infinite expectation and for, exa for example, belongs to the domain of attraction of a stable wall. And in this case, the limit will be not, will be not a Brownian motion, but mm, Brownian motion with non-local uh, boundary condition. Some results on this topic was obtained uh, with my former uh, PhD student uh, Europe Prihodka and in recent paper by Xanov, me and uh, Power. And uh, some results were obtained in our joint paper with Alexander Xanov. And we used uh, Martingale technique, uh, Martingale problem. And uh, today I will. I will uh, general, generalize our approach and uh, obtain new some new some new results. Actually, in this paper, uh, one of the assumptions was that the jump is bounded uh, in such a way that we cannot over jump the, mem the membrane. Uh, In these papers, uh, the authors considered random walks on graphs. And walks here were like plus minus one. And uh, when, you, when you hit zero, then you exit from zero in a certain way. Uh, well, exit may depend on the ray if you come say if you come from on the on the ray from which you enter uh, the vertex and the limit was a walsh brownian motion uh, i would like to mention very interesting uh, paper by alexey kulik who considered um, diffusions on a graphs uh, where some uh, vertex, where some vertices may tie together. So let me explain you his construction. Assume that you have like walsh brownian analog of walsh brownian motion on the graph. For example, if you come here, uh, you may uh, go to this direction when you reach this point to this line and so on and so forth or maybe select array with certain probabilities and then you make Donsker scaling and what, what what do you see after scaling you see one point so if you if, if you shrink space then all of of these points become Become, become one point in a limit. And you see the following picture only like this ray, this ray, this ray, this and this with one common point. 
and it appears that uh, under some so so uh, uh, Alexei was able to find uh, probabilities to select each ray and uh, he proved that the limit is walsh Brownian Bro motion. If you discuss uh, perturbation of uh, multi-dimension in, in of perturbed random walk in multi-dimensional space, then as usual, if, if you have perturbation in a finite set, then the limit is just Brownian motion. So this result is a result by Shash and Telks or Shash and Pauling. And recently uh, with uh, Bogdansky and Pavlukevich, we considered uh, also multi-dimensional random walk where, where we have a perturbation on a, a hyper plane. And the limit was a Brownian motion outside with some skew uh, when the Brownian motion hits this, this hits the hyperplane. Well, outside of hyperplane, we considered only a symmetric random walk with a unit jump. And uh, uh, I will consider, as, as I told you, I will consider uh, random walks on graphs and the limit will be a walsh Brownian motion. And uh, so let me recall you what, what is the definition of uh, walsh Brownian motion. So consider finite number of rays with a joint and point. And walsh Brownian motion is a continuous process on this graph such that if, if you are here, then the process behaves as a just Brownian motion. But when you hit uh, this point, you select, you select uh, array with number i with probability uh, p, p i. Well, select is just formally, it's the probability like for Brownian motion to go up or to go to go down. Uh, when I say you have toss a coin and uh, select a sign for excursion. So the same you do with this uh, walsh Brownian motion. Uh, so walsh Brownian motion uh, can be constructed from, uh, from, um, from uh, reflected Brownian, from reflected Brownian motion as follows. So, you have some excursions here. And let me paint these rays in different colors. I will say labels. And I will say, say red color with probability P1, green color with probability P2, and this orange color with probability PI. And then I toss a coin here. And with probability P1, I color excursion of a reflected Brownian motion in red color, for example, this excursion and this. Some excursions are colored in, in green, some are colored in blue or orange. And then you say, okay, if this excursion is red, then you're on this line. If it is green, you're here, if orange, you are here, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. So uh, actually, we can consider walsh Brownian motion as reflected Brownian motion with some labels, with some colors. 
uh, as for me, it will be convenient sometimes uh, to consider um, a walsh Brownian motion as a as a process on graph in a space uh, in multi-dimensional space and these lines are just coordinate lines and i will color say first axis by red second by green third by orange and if you are here i will say that okay uh, you have uh, a motion on this axis if green then here uh, if this is here and a walsh brownian motion i identify it with multi-dimensional process or sometimes i will do the following picture green line red line orange line okay you have had zero and uh, the process behaves like brownian motion here so it moves moves then it selects maybe this line then jumps here and so on and so forth okay and now uh, important uh, result that uh, you may obtain uh, skew Brownian motion as a function of of Walsh Brownian motion. So if you have Walsh Brownian motion in uh, in some graph, uh, it, 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 it's better to to make like not graph but on these lines and you say that okay uh let's combine uh some lines with the sign plus and some lines with the sign minus then the process that you obtain is a skew brownian motion and uh, parameter of permeability is as follows so you glue together these these red lines into one line you glue these blue lines also in one blue line and but with sign minus and after you combine these lines and uh, rotate uh, blue lines you obtain a uh, skew brownian motion on a line Okay, uh, now let me explain you the model. The model of a random walk, of multi dimensional random walk on a set, on, on this set. So I have a few lines. Uh, I have a point zero. Uh, if you are here, then increments are independent, identical, distributed random variables. For example, if this is the first line, then the distribution is psi one. If you here, then the distribution of psi two is then the jump is psi two psi three and so on and so forth uh, and what happens when you enter negative negative part when you have a walk and what happens when you come here and the rule is following 
So let me uh, make a picture. So then you think, then you perturb. You say, okay, you over jump. You have to select new one, maybe the same, maybe the same line, and you enter here. So you have jumps here, then you cross zero, then you decide where to go. For example, now I go here and my increments here um, have the same distribution as size three, and then you exit, then you think, think where to go, maybe the same, and you have random walk again here, and so on and so forth. Well, assumptions. Assumptions are as follows. These random variables, um, so walk in positive half lines, are mean zero random variables. Maybe they have different uh, variances. I also always assume that um, all states of this random walk are connected and uh, Psi one, Psi two, Psi three is such that the corresponding non-perturbed random walk are random walks walks on Z, and Z is the um, to say maximal lattice. So you can you can reach every every point of, of Z. So not not two two Z or three Z. So but uh, that. Uh, and uh, one more assumption is jumps from membrane to positive side, uh, positive, uh, positive side, uh, has a, a finite expectation. Moreover, if uh, this coordinate is equal to oh, x. So if this x distance is x, then the jump, this distance is dominated, then expectation of, of the jump is dominated from above by constant times this din distance plus one. So I need, I need this assumption and that's all. Well, I have, uh, let me introduce some uh, annotation. R is a radius. So is projection of all this colored line to, to just uh, real line or to, to Z. And L is a label. So here label is blue, here label is red, here label is yellow, or oh, one, two, three, label one, label two, label three. Uh, the main result is the following. If you consider uh, Donsker scaling of this random walk, then you will get a walsh brownian motion in a limit. Uh, now let me, uh, in order to formulate uh, the main result, I have to introduce uh, some notation. Uh, some notation and uh, some notations and some auxiliary stopping times. And auxiliary random works. So I have lines with colors. I have random walk here. And when you exit here, I will write a dot and say, okay, this is a moment of exit. And then you jump to the positive side, you will have entrance. I will say, you have entrance. Then you walk here, walk, 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 and then you exit. Say you 
from here. So exit, entrance. Um, you come here. Uh, maybe you jump here, then you exit here. So these are moments of entrance, and these are moments of exits. And I would like to introduce entrance, random walk. So I just walk, I see on these entrances and exit random walks. I will denote them, them by X exit and X entrance. Uh, they are Markov chains. They are Markov chains. And it can be seen that uh, they are ergodic. And the main argument is as follows that um, when you exit from this positive side, uh, side, then with probability separated from zero, you just hit, hit zero. So with probability independent on the position where, where you enter, you, you exit with uh, with probability greater than a constant, we are zero. So zero is a point, you, uh, okay, uh, entrance always, when you enter, you always jump to a natural number, but when you exit, uh, you jump to non-negative, non-negative uh, integer number. And it can be seen, well, uh, you have ergodicity, you have stationary distribution for exit random walk, for entrance random walk. It can be seen that uh, if you start from uh, that this relation hold for stationary distribution of exit random walk and entrance random walk. So if you enter, and then you wait until the first time when you exit, then, okay, X of sigma one is here. So it's the same probability that if you take stationary distribution of this, uh, this exit random walk. And uh, mm, another result that I need is as follows. That uh, expectation of the stationary distribution of radius so you have again radius and, and label is finite. Is finite for exit random walk and entrance random walk. And uh, the main observation is as follows. If you have if you have uh, mean zero random walk uh, is finite variance then if you start from x then for any alpha greater than zero uh, there is a constant k of alpha such that expectation of this overshoot over zero is dominated from above by by, by this number and we have assumed that when we exit uh, to a point X, then jump above, then expectation of jump above is dominated by a constant one plus absolute value of X. So if alpha C is less than one, then if you go down and then you go up, then uh, this entrance is dominated from above by by some constant uh, times, uh, okay, uh, by, by, by some constant uh, 
times uh, expectation of the previous entrance times the number which is less than one. Well, now I'm ready to, to formulate the, the, the main result. Uh, you have this random walk, you make Donsker scaling, then you scale uh, first coordinate by variance, second variant coordinate by variance and m coordinate by variance of the corresponding jump. And you assume that initial condition converge to x, then uh, the scaled random walk converges to a Walsh Brownian motion, to a Walsh Brownian motion where probabilities P1, P2, P3, P3, and so on to select uh, first ray, second ray, or mth ray uh, can be calculated as some expectations uh, connected, related to stationary distribution of entrance random walk or exit random walk. Well, and you may uh, uh, apply this re result to to uh, perturb random walk on a real line, and then uh, you also consider uh, you also consider some entrance and uh, exit random walks, and uh, you you get explicit relation for the permeability parameter. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to, to discuss this formula and some examples. Uh, well, uh, in order there to prove my result, I would like to, to use a martingale characterization of a walsh Brownian motion. Uh, so X, a process X and new are a Walsh Brownian motion and its local time at zero if and only if uh, these processes are non-negative. This means that only one coordinate may be positive. This process new uh, can increase only when the process hits zero. And uh, the difference, this xi minus pi times nu are martingales with the following uh, characteristic. And this process x does not spend a time at zero. By the way, if you consider um, a process x1 of t plus x2 of t plus so on plus x m of t, I will denote it like radius r of t, then r of t is a reflected Brownian motion. And it can be seen that uh, R of T satisfies the following equation. R of T is W of T. Well, assume no, uh, R of T is R of zero plus linear process plus nu of T, where this linear process is just sum of these martingales, M1 of T plus so on, plus m is index m of, of t. And now let me consider our perturbed random walk. Uh, and let me show you uh, the candidates 
for x1, x2, and xn. So the process xj of n is just uh, radius times indicator that label is equal to j. So if you are on black line, then all are the other labels are uh, then uh, all other indicators are zero. And uh, let me introduce uh, candidates for martingales. So it just so m j of n is just sum of jumps of j's coordinate when this process belongs to the James J's line and if radius is positive. Well, uh, MJ is a sum of uh, independent identical distributed random variable that have distribution say um, which is equal to Xi J. So we can denote this by Xi J N. Well, but uh, this is the random sum because sometimes summons are zeros if you are on another line. And LJ is the following um, is the following uh, process is the following the following sequence, and it can be seen that. X, S, X sub J is this sum. And this sequence is uh, a martingale. And it's natural to expect that if you consider Donster scaling, then this martingale will converge to a martingale mj of t with characteristic which is equal to vj times integral of indicator uh, the j's coordinate is positive ds well uh, The plan of the proof is as follows. The first proof relative compactness of, of this sequence and show that any limit uh, process is uh, a continuous process. Uh, then, uh, we will consider the following process. We divide the first coordinate, so the first coordinate by square root of n and the first variance. The second coordinate I divide by square root of n and second variance and so on and so forth. And I will prove that some of these coordinates converge to a reflected Brownian motion. And some of uh, the properly normed coordinate of L, so you divide by variances, is, um, uh, okay, it's written here. Uh, it's written here. Is the local time at zero? of uh, the reflected Brownian motion. And idea of the proof is just score hot reflected, pro uh, reflected problem. Uh, it is not a big problem to show that the limits of uh, Martin Gales 
of uh, Martin Gay of, of of this sequence is Martin Gale and to to see that uh, square characteristic is integral of the indicator but the most difficult problem is the following uh, to show that to show this re relation actually if you prove that actually we we know that some of the this sum converge to a process converge to, to a process mu of t we know that uh, every of these processes converge to some increasing process say new j of t as some and some of new j's is new and if we show that new j over t divided by new of t is equal to p of j where p of j is given in my theorem then we are done. So if oops, uh, if p of j is is given by, for example, this formula, then then the theorem is proved. And the question is how to prove how to prove this result. Well, and uh, uh, and it is not a very big problem we have to find uh find to we have to prove some limit some limit uh, theorem like a law of large number for the ratio l j of t divided by l i i of t where l i and l j are given are given here and i have uh, one one minute and let me let me explain you um, how to do it uh, we have a colored random walk so when you are above, you have some increments, and then you have overshoot. Then you maybe change a color, enter positive uh, half space, and then have again um, random walk and again overshoot and uh, so on and so forth so if you have some point n then what is l of j so what is let me let me make another picture maybe here okay red yellow then yellow again then red again then okay. uh, and assume that uh, j is red color uh, and this is a point n what is lj of n Lj of n is the following sum. This distance plus, uh, so assume that you enter here, this distance plus uh, this distance plus you enter here, this distance. 
And this moment is the moment when you exit. And this moment is the moment when you enter. Again, exit moment, entrance, exit, and so on and so forth. And look, what is this value plus this value? This is distance between entrance and exit of red excursion. And uh, what is what is written? What is written here? No, no, not here, but here. You have, you consider station redistribution of entrance low. Uh, so this point, you wait before you exit and consider this distance, well, uh, divided by variance, uh, not variance, but square root of variance. Uh, times indicator that uh, your label is say red is that your label is k, and here is just expectation uh, of the distance between entrance and exit of uh, entrance Markov chain. Uh, some of all of these uh, values is equal to, to one. Well, and that's all uh, for today. Thank you for your attention. Maybe just a uh, few slides with references. Uh, this is a paper of Harrison and Shep, where they proved limit theorems for perturbed random walk and obtain uh, uh, skew Brownian motion. Uh, this is a book of uh, Portenko, where he uh, described diffusions with generalized drift and uh, skew motion is a particular case. So these are results about uh, a perturbed random walks. Uh, so this paper is the paper where we applied martingale characterization of a skew Brownian motion or a Walsh uh, process. Uh, uh, this is original paper of Walsh, where he introduced uh, Walsh, Walsh process and some other papers. And that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe somebody have questions or comments, please. Andre, I have a few questions. Uh, first one is uh, 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 at just attempt to understand uh, the complexity of your problem, uh, and is the following: uh, Can you just apply Skorohod construction uh, of uh, reflection? Uh, in the case of the graph, what I mean, uh, you know that the Skorohod problem uh, can be solved for deterministic continuous function. Yes. Uh, yes, I understand. Uh, so, and, and the uh, answer the, is no. The answer is no. no? Why? Uh, because uh, yeah, even skew Brownian motion cannot be obtained as a continuous function of W. So reflected uh, Brownian motion is, so if you, if you consider, uh, if you solve, uh, 
Skorohod reflection, reflected problem dLt, x of t is positive and L is increasing process. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, W is just deterministic function and L is increasing function such that uh, it may increase only when X is at zero, everything is continuous. Uh, then you have a formula that L of t is um, minus minimum of W of S minimum zero. And uh, X of t is a sum W of t plus L of t. And it appears that X is a continuous function of W. Mm -hmm. even Lipschitz function. And L is also a continuous function of W. So you can solve this problem like pass by pass, pass wise. Yes, yes. If you have uh, Brownian motion, you, have, you get reflected Brownian motion. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this approach does not work when you put here gamma, and if you say, okay, uh, don't, don't consider a, a real line, but, but consider just graph, mm -hmm. uh, consider line like a, a graph, say two positive half lines with common, common point. Uh, a skew Brownian motion is not a continuous functional of a W, unfortunately. So you cannot use Skorohot construction if you want to, to, to solve this problem. Can we say that we just need some uh, additional noise uh, in uh, order to uh, maybe, play maybe, with excursions? Uh, maybe you remember uh, a paper of Ziller, Zillerson that yes. a noise of, yes, uh, yes. of uh, walsh Brownian motion is very bad. Mm -hmm. So it is not generated by a uh, dinner noise. So it's yes, a yes, uh, like I remember. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, uh, this is a good point. So my question is, uh, uh, maybe uh, we can add uh, some uh, noise which we can uh, control, like uh, this mm -hmm. uh, uh, jumping between... Uh, 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 well, I, I don't know, and I think that the answer is no. Awesome. This, this is impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the first question, and another one is uh, about uh, uh, what happens if we have uh, uh, infinitely many uh, uh, this uh, lines, half, half of lines. Mm -hmm. and ergodic uh, mechanism uh, of jumping between them? Uh, I think that maybe you get uh, walsh Brownian motion too, uh, but you have to um, ensure, uh, you, 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 you have to have ergodicity for entrance and exit yes, yes. Uh, random walk. And I believe that if you have, then uh, then you you can prove the same result. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you have to add some. You actually you may consider non-integer valued uh, random walks, but you must have some like Dublin type condition or yeah. something like this. The, the proof will be will be similar. Actually, Walsh considered um, uh, Walsh Brownian motion not only on graph, or maybe not in this paper, but on another. You can consider a pair like radius and um, angle, mm -hmm. and you select uh, this angle with certain distribution with certain distribution. When you have finite number uh, of uh, mm -hmm. rays, then you have discrete distribution. But if you have continue, if you have infinite, say all all possibilities, then you may even have continuous distribution. 
Uh, it's interesting, and uh, 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 the structure of the noise which arises in this continu continuous picture uh, is the same as in the uh, discrete uh, picture, or uh, not? What do you mean? Okay, uh, so I, I have I, to consider, okay, I have to consider um, random walk on a street, so this is zero, this is two pi. And here you have random walks. Yes. When you over jump, mm -hmm. you have to select um, Yes, line. I understand the construction. Mm -hmm. I, I am asking uh, about the, the resulting uh, wash motion uh, from the point of view of its uh, filtration, of its noise. Mm -hmm. uh, is it uh, of the same complexity? Uh, yeah, it, as, it's, uh, it is even more. It is even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. because yes, because if you if you combine few rays, say these, mm -hmm. and okay, say this part is blue, this part is red, and this mm -hmm. part is orange, and then uh, this colored radius will be just uh, walsh Brownian motion with three lines. Mm -hmm. And the noise in three lines is, is, is bad. So the noise for continuous, yes, yes. continuous angle Brown, uh, Walsh, Walsh process is worse. It's even worse because its filtration uh, uh, is, is, is but, larger. Uh, my question is exactly about this. But uh, see, for example, one winner process and uh, counted number of winner processes uh, ah, do the same filtration. I see. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe it has the same complexity. I, I yeah, don't know. Uh, it was my question. Okay, uh, uh, interesting. Uh, thank you very much again. And uh, uh, Georgi, do you know who is uh, the next speaker? Uh, next speaker is Xie mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so see, uh, see you next week. Bye for everybody. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Good one. Bye bye. Bye.